Welcome back, outdoor enthusiasts! We're in the outdoors and we're here to share 10 survival skills you must learn when camping in the wilderness. Rest assured, we'll also provide you with the best examples of products you can consider buying at the end of this informational video. As always, all the links for the products we've mentioned are in the description down below as well as timestamps to help you navigate through the video. Before we begin, be sure to like the video and subscribe to stay with us in the outdoors, especially if you're interested in more informational list related content just like this one. Everyone who engages in outdoor activities must master at least a few basic survival skills. You could be trekking along a route, camping in the woods, or kayaking along a river and get yourself into an unexpected situation when things go wrong. If you lack the necessary skills, your odds of escaping alive are substantially lower. So whether you're traveling with your family or trekking with friends and haven't had the time to gather everything you'll need, this video will take you back to basics and cover the 10 fundamental survival skills you'll need to know if you're going in the wilderness. Proper Navigation If you get lost, you'll need basic navigation skills to avoid retracing your steps. Ideally, you should have a map, compass, GPS, and phone in your backpack. But if you don't, there are several tricks you may try to find which direction is north. If navigation during the day, you may utilize natural markers like rivers, lakes, mountains, and forests to pinpoint your location on a map. Keep in mind that the sun always rises in the east, sets in the west, and moves through the north or south depending on your hemisphere during the day. If you're wearing one, hold your analog watch horizontally or parallel to the ground, with the hour hand aimed straight at the sun. Find the halfway between the hour hand and the 12 markers and trace an imaginary line. This is true north. During the night, you can use the stars to navigate. In northern latitudes, find a north star, the brightest star in the sky, and locate the end of the Little Dipper constellation. This is true north. Meanwhile, in southern latitudes, the southern cross tip points directly south. But if using the stars seems a bit hard, you can use the moon. The simplest method is to draw an imaginary line between the tip of the crescent moon and stretch it to the horizon. This will indicate due south. Identifying poisonous plants The last thing you want to do is start eating anything you see in your way. You must be aware of which plants are suitable for eating and which are not. Also, finding out which plants are medicinal in nature is an added bonus because if you ever get sick, you can treat yourself before returning home and seeing a doctor. Learning more about each tree is the key to understanding the plants that may rescue or kill you. Here in luck since these books are easily accessible in a variety of bookshops. Before you venture outdoors, spend some time reading to understand more about the trees and their uses. Hunting and Fishing Although the human body can go without food for an astonishingly long time, hunger symptoms are unpleasant and can occur quickly. And while it's possible to obtain proteins and fats from plants and legumes, meat and fish are the most convenient sources of these nutrients. A simple snare is a successful method of capturing animals, whether huge ones or little rodents. But if you don't have any man-made materials on hand, you may make them out of twigs, pebbles, and some paracord or wire. Or you can use twisted tree fibers. On another note, fishing is a fantastic alternative if you're close to a lake, river, or other populated body of water. Although using bait makes the process simpler, catching a fish with just a line, hook, and patience is doable. Alternatively, if you spot fish swimming through a fast-flowing river, you may make a net out of paracord or interwoven branches to catch them as they swim. Finding and purifying water Obtaining safe drinking water is just as crucial as having a good survival mindset. The simplest and most traditional way to get clean drinking water is to boil it to kill germs and parasites. But if you don't have a durable or fireproof water container, simply heat up some rocks in the fire and place them in the water container to boil them. Another way to get safe drinking water is by collecting perspiration from plants. In the morning, securely wrap plastic around the leaves of a plant, make sure that there are no leaks and this vapor will condense into water that you may drink. Rainwater collection is also a great technique for clean drinking water because it is free of contaminants, parasites, and germs. To catch rainwater, leave an absorbent material out all night and squeeze it into a container in the morning. If not, you may make a channel out of huge leaves or a piece of split bamboo and use a container to hold the water. Building a fire You need to gather some dry wood, then put them close together so that a flame may start to spread between them, yet with enough space for good ventilation. Of course, a match or a lighter is the simplest way to start a fire. You shouldn't, however, stop with just these two techniques. Striking two rocks quickly to generate a spark is a popular approach that doesn't need a lot of tools or mastery. Another method is to build a simple bow drill out of scrap wood and thread to generate friction and heat, eventually resulting in a fire. First aid. Things may get perilous quite fast when you're out in uncharted, untamed areas. 
That said, it's crucial to pack a first aid kit and learn vital first aid skills and CPR to increase your chances of surviving or saving a life. If you get a cut, immediately rinse it with sterile water and try to close the wound. Boiling clothing can kill any bacteria on it, so use it to seal the wound if you don't have any sterile dressings. And if you notice an infection getting worse or spreading, you can use urine as an emergency sterilizer. If you break a bone, knowing how to make a splint instead of broken limb will, at the very least, restore your mobility, allowing you to return to camp and rest appropriately. Building Shelter One of the fundamental skills you should have as a camper is making yourself comfortable without constantly hauling your cabin tent with you. Simplest and frequently most efficient approach to shelter yourself is to build a lean-to, which may be done by gathering branches, leaning them against a huge tree or rock formation, and then mending them with mud or other debris. As for the cold ground, use a layer of leaves to make it comfortable. With more leaves covering the shelter, you should be able to stay warm inside. Staying warm Having the right gear and staying dry are two very important survival tips you should remember. You should also know how to fix specific clothing pieces, such as using duct tape to mend your shoes or boots. If you become wet, remove your clothes and dry them over the fire. You're safer in your birthday suit than you are in your drenched clothes. Also, remember that wearing the appropriate coat, gloves, boots, and caps to keep your extremities warm can save your life. Finding Firewood No matter how skilled you are at starting fires, if the wood is damp, it won't burn. Wood that is already dead and felt, as opposed to green wood that has just come off a tree, tends to be the driest and best for starting a fire. Search the forest floor for the tiniest, driest pieces you can locate and begin to accumulate a good supply of kindling in a dry spot. Taking Stock and Adapting Your best tool in the woods is your capacity for adaptation. Be aware of where you are at all times, whether you are camping for two days or stuck in a mountain for a week. Consider creative uses for your supplies as you rank your demands. Keep in mind that you will be a better camper if you keep your cool and act logically when something unexpected happens. Since you already know the basic skills you need, stay on top of your game with these outdoor products which can also help you with survival. The first item in our list is the Survivor Filter Water Purification System. With a filtration level of 0.01 microns, it protects against viruses, bacteria, and parasites better than anything else. Best of all, it reduces most heavy metals and enhances the flavor of water making it the best product of its kind on the market today. It has a three-stage filtration system that has a sediment filter, an activated carbon filter, and a membrane ultrafilter. Together, these three filter media are quite effective at eliminating impurities. They almost eliminate any dangers you would meet in backcountry or wilderness natural water sources. Don't worry though, this filter pump won't weigh you down, as it only measures 3.15 by 1.97 by 6.5 inches and weighs around 1 pound. The second item in our list is a gear light flashlight. Its durable, military-grade aluminum shell makes it suited for use in both indoor and outdoor environments. It is the perfect flashlight for hunting, hiking, fishing, or camping. Lightweight and small, this 5.31 by 1.48 by 1.48 flashlight can be conveniently packed in your backpack, bag, glove compartment, camping gear, or survival kit. What's great is that it features two zoom modes, the wide mode for a larger beam and the focus zoom for a smaller one. We would also like to highlight that it either runs on three AAA batteries or one 18650 battery. The third item in our list is the Uber 11 zoomed in fire starter. With a perfect balance between softness and durability, Uber 11 has set a new standard for what a ferro rod should and should it be. It includes a scraper that's fastened to the handle via the lanyard. But don't freak out if you lose the striker. You can use a rock or your knife to create sparks. One of the nicest features on this product is how comfortable it feels in the hand. The handle is handcrafted from 100% hardwood and has a naturally textured grip to help you keep control of the molten spark showers. Finally, it is available in three sizes. The fourth and last item in our list is the Coleman Camping Tent. The Coleman Sun Dome two-person dome tent is designed for quick and easy setup, so you can enjoy the outdoors more. Great for camping in warm weather, this backpacking tent has large windows and a ground vent to help push warm air up and out to keep you comfortable. The WeatherTech system features patented welded floors and inferred it seems to ensure you stay dry if the weather turns, while the sturdy frame with insta-clip pole attachments stands up to strong winds. There's also Rainfly with an integrated door awning included to help keep rain from getting to the tent. Overall, this dome tent offers enough room for a queen-sized air mattress and has built-in storage pockets to help keep your gear organized. 
And there you have it, folks, the In the Outdoors team's breakdown of 10 survival skills you must learn when camping in the wilderness. If you have any insights you would like to share with the team, do drop it in the comments section below, and we'll be sure to look it over for our next update. If you like this video and it helps you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes the outdoors great. We look forward to seeing you in the outdoors again soon.